Welcome to Drift with Guitars, my name is Chris, and I don't know about you guys, but when I first started building guitars, or even before I even made my first wood shaving, when I first got interested in guitar building, the very first place that I checked out was obviously the interwebs. Uh, but this was back in, gosh, 05, 06, and the internet was not quite what it is today. And I remember having such a hard time finding really good sources for information on guitar building. So what I'm going to do today is give you guys five websites that you can check out right now and that you should check out right now that are going to help you guys on your journey towards guitar building. And if you've been doing this for a while, some of these websites might be a place that you haven't visited yet because I'm not going to list the usual suspects today. They're going to be a little outside the box and they are all fantastic sources for not only knowledge in guitar building but for tone woods as well as tools. So stay tuned and we're going to get going. Okay, the first thing that I want to recommend to you guys is a website that is a forum. And I think that the reason many of us end up landing on forums in the first place is because we're looking for that community, right? Uh, you're looking to build a guitar, and uh, there's some obviously some really specific things, some really specific questions that you need to ask when you're getting into guitar building. Uh, and you can't just get onto any website to ask those questions because most folks don't know anything about guitar building. Uh, and I know that one of the very first places that people tend to go to is the Acoustic Guitar Forum or a very similar version of that on the electric side. Uh, and the problem with websites like that is that they're populated mostly by guitar owners and guitar collectors. And that's great, but when you've got real specific questions about like neck angles and setups and thicknesses of tops, those tend to not be the best places because although there do tend to be a couple of luthiers that hang out at those websites, what you really need is a place where everybody is a luthier, uh, whether that is beginners, amateurs, all the way up to professionals. And that is why I recommend the official Luthiers Forum or luthiersforum.com. If you haven't heard of it, go check out this website. I probably spent the first seven to eight years of my guitar building journey hanging around this website. In fact, if you were to dig into the archives, I'm sure you'd find some of my old uh, posts and my old photos. I wasn't super active with posting things, but I was just absorbing information a lot back then. Um, but this place is super, 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 super useful. Uh, it's not just acoustic guitar builders either. They have a whole section for solid body builders, arch tops, ukuleles, mandolins, even cigar box guitars. If it's wood and it has strings on it, they talk about it on this website. So don't be afraid to go check it out. Dive deep into the archives, and I guarantee you that just about any question that you have specifically about a guitar that you're building or any issues that you might be having, you're going to find the answers there. Every single person that is an active member on this site has been in your shoes at one point or another, and that is, I want to do this, but I don't know how. And they will hold your hand and help guide you and cheerlead you the entire way. So go check it out. Uh, it is probably my number one recommended place to just get your feet wet and get interested in the hobby in the first place. All right, the second website that I want to recommend is different than a forum. And that is once you've decided you want to build a guitar, where can I have a good source of guitar plans? And this is one that I stumbled into, gosh, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. And I don't even know how I found it, probably on Google or something. And it is Gen 1 Luthier Supply. Uh, and what they specialize in is digital blueprints for guitars. Not just acoustics, once again. They do solid bodies and arch tops and ukuleles and mandolins. And what's really cool is they have a giant archive of guitar building tools and jigs plans, which is super useful because if you've even begun this journey, you will quickly realize that one of the things that you're going to do almost more than building guitars is building jigs. Uh, and all of these tools and jigs that they have on this website are super high quality and are going to kind of alleviate many of those headaches that you might have when making your tools. Um, but if we go back to the guitar plans, um, I don't know of any other websites that offer this broad of a range of guitar plans. And it's not just like your typical, you know, your Martin D28, D18, your J45, J200, things like that. These guys have all of the good stuff. They've even got Taylor models, the V-Class bracing. They've got all of the um, classical guitars, whether it's lattice braced or fan braced. Um, they've got it all on there. And then the on the electric front, they've kind of 
all of the big heavy hitters, they've got blueprints for those. Um, and I know that over the years when I've gotten blueprints from folks, sometimes you'll get them and they'll be a little bit of a dud because they're missing some information that you wish that it has. Uh, but every time I've ever gotten a plan from Gen 1 Luthier Supply, it has been absolutely top notch, almost more information that I can humanly consume in a guitar. Um, so the way that this works is that you're going to go to the website, obviously, and you'll pick on whatever genre of instrument you're looking at doing. In my case, I'm obviously an acoustic guitar builder, so I will go to the acoustic section and scroll through there, click on a guitar, and you're going to get really um, cool little samples that you can check out to see if it's an instrument that you're interested in buying. Once you buy it, you'll get an email with a digital copy of it, and you can open it up in PDF form, a really high quality PDF. PDF. At that point, if you just want to keep it digital, you can do that, or you can load it onto a thumb drive or email it to your local print shop, a place like a UPS store or a Kinko's, and then have it printed out at a one-to-one -one scale. And what you're going to end up with is blueprints that are just like ones that you would have bought in physical form online. But in my particular opinion, I think that uh, these are much higher quality. Another really cool thing that this offers, as opposed to just standard blueprints, is that if you wanted to do a guitar at a different size, whether that's a different scale length. Um, I know that years ago I built a guitar that was like a half half size um, guitar, but with six strings on it. And so I literally just got some blueprints from these guys and I had that printed out at 50% scale and I went from there and it worked out super good. Um, the other thing that you can do on this website that is super useful for folks that are more technologically minded, folks that are using CNC machines or laser cutters, um, is that you can actually get um, 3D CAD files for all of these guitars. Uh, they're not super cheap, but they're really, really good and high quality files. Um, so what you can do is you can download those, get them loaded into Fusion 360 or SolidWorks or whatever your flavor of uh, CAD software is, and then you can modify it, turn it into whatever you want, and then send it to your CNC machine and have it cut out from there. Uh, and it's just a really, really great site for getting ideas and for finding high quality plans on guitars and tools. So go check out those guys. Uh, what I understand about them is that it's probably a small operation run by one dude um, so they are happy to have some of your money instead of a lot of the big box stores that we find online so go check out that site you will not be disappointed okay so this next one I was really apprehensive of whether or not I wanted to share it with you guys because when you find a website that has good quality tone wood uh, that's like a trustworthy source you tend to not want to tell everybody about it because, hey, this is this stash of wood uh, is really good and I want it to be there when I'm ready to buy it. Uh, and if I tell everybody here about it, you guys are going to go to the website and you're going to buy wood. And the next time I go to buy wood, it's not going to be there anymore. But with that, uh, I do want to share this little nugget. If you are building guitars that use a lot of figured maple, whether that's curly maple uh, or Quilted Maple, I have a really, really great website for you. It's a little primitive of a site, but it's a really, really good one, and that is curlymaple.com. I think I stumbled across them about two years ago when my normal source for Quilted Maple kind of dried up. I think the web the company went out of business, uh, and I had to find another source, and I typed in Curly Maple, and these guys named their website that, so it kind of worked out. They were the first to pop up, and all of the drop tops, most of the necks, most of the fretboards that I have been using on our Titlecaster electric guitars comes from this website. I have bought thousands and thousands of dollars of curly maple from these guys. Um, and every bit of it has been absolutely wonderful, defect free. It's been shipped directly to my house with no issues, well packaged. Um, and not only do they sell really good, like just slabs of curly maple that I can actually process with my bandsaw, which is how I prefer to buy it, um, but they actually have a Luthier's um, tone wood selection already kind of pre curated on the website. So if you don't have the big saws and the drum sanders that you need to be able to process raw lumber, you can actually buy drop tops there. Um, they don't have back and side sets for acoustic guitars, but they do have a lot of really good um, back sets 
or back pieces and side pieces that you could then resaw into back and side sets, as well as some mahoganies and cherries and some really cool curly oaks and really interesting pieces of wood like that that you can use in guitar building. And let me tell you, the prices that these guys offer are absolutely fantastic. And that is after you take into consideration shipping. Um, a lot of times these guys are just slightly more money than it would cost me to buy this wood locally. So. If you're using a lot of curly maple, figured maple, um, or cherries um, in your guitars, go check out curlymaple.com. Don't buy all of the wood because I need a lot of it for what I do here. So just be just be mindful that I gave you this this hint, um, and be respectful of the hoard of wood. Don't buy it all. That's all I'm saying. Just don't buy it all. <laughs> Several years ago, I built a guitar for Rolls Royce. And I did the 3,000 year old ancient Sitka top on it. And then I inlaid two ounces of pure platinum and 24 karat gold all around the perimeter of the guitar. And at that point, I decided, well, I want to use things that are all kind of come out of the earth. The piece was called Unearthed. And so what I wanted to do was use some woolly mammoth ivory instead of just bone. Uh, nuts and saddles on the guitar. So I went to this website, which is guitarpartsandmore.com, and what they sell is obviously your typical bleached and unbleached bone nuts and saddles, but what they really specialize in is fossilized woolly mammoth ivory versions of those things, the nuts, the saddles, the strap buttons, and the bridge pins. Uh, not super cheap, but in my opinion, not crazy expensive. And in my experience, I've probably used this woolly mammoth ivory on, I don't know, five or six guitars, is that it is very similar to elephant ivory, which I had used before in a really specific guitar where I got some super early pre-band stuff that came from some scrimshaw from the 1800s, so don't worry there, I did not use actual live elephant ivory. Um, but I haven't used it since, and since then, if somebody wants ivory, I use the woolly mammoth stuff, because obviously, I don't know if you know this, but they're not around anymore, um, so you don't have to feel guilty about using it. Um, but it has a really fantastic tone to it, and what I think is cool is that it has a really cool story to it. You know, you show somebody this guitar, and you're like, wow, that's really cool. But then you go, well, check out the nut in the saddle. Let me tell you about it. It's actually a woolly mammoth ivory. And then you should see the looks on people's faces. They just like, holy cow. And if woolly mammoth ivory isn't enough for you, they actually have fossilized walrus jawbone versions of those same things or just fossilized walrus um, tusk. So what they offer is three versions, uh, the woolly mammoth ivory, the walrus jawbone and the walrus tusk, nut saddles, bridge pins, and uh, end strap buttons that can be really cool conversation pieces. They look really cool. Uh, and the website is, once again, just something that's a little bit off the beaten path, run by one guy, and patronizing them helps out the community as a whole. So check out guitarpartsandmore.com if you're interested in getting one of those really cool things for one of your instruments. All right, the last website that I want to recommend to you guys is one that sells tools. And I know that many folks spend all of their time on places like Stumac, uh, or LMI and they think where else can I get luthier tools? Well, this one is a uh, a Boutique builder of guitar building tools and it's called elevate luthery.com Also known as just elevate. I want to make that clear. It is just elevate is the name of the company um, But I have many 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 of his tools um, Things like the ultimate binding jig which I switched over to from the Stumac ultimate binding jig uh, about uh, three or four years ago, and I have never looked back. It's one of the best tools that I have in my workshop. All of these tools are CNC made out of solid billet aluminum, and are, I can't even begin to describe to you how high quality these tools are. And considering how high quality they are, the prices, I think, are absolutely phenomenal. Um, Obviously, I mentioned the Ultimate Binding Jig. Um, I use his pinwheel sanders in my shop all the time. He's got two different versions of a pinwheel sander, and I believe two different sizes of, of those two. Um, fretboard locating jigs, um, fretboard so side dot locating jigs. He's got neck angle jigs. Um, what we've got coming up on this channel very soon is um, that he sent to us to, to do a review on is the Mortis and Tenon jig that he has um, that we'll be using on the 3,000-year-old guitar build video series very, very soon, as well as dovetail jigs, um, circle cutting jigs, uh, and one of the really cool things that Elevate offers that a lot of places don't is that if you have a specific tool that you need, you can actually reach out to them and have them build a custom tool for you. 
or they can modify one of the tools that they have that you go, this is great, but it won't work on my guitars because I'm doing this one specific thing. Uh, I know that Tom Sands had talked about how he uses the fretboard locating jig from Elevate, um, but they didn't work originally because of the carbon fiber inserts on his guitar, so they actually built him a specific one to use. Uh, and that's the kind of service that you're just not going to get um, from some of these larger websites. So uh, just like everything else you've seen that I've recommended today, this is a small website run by one, two, three, or four people. Um, and it's good to spend your money on small businesses like that as well. So I can't recommend Elevate Luthery any more than I do right here. Go to that website, check it out. If you can afford to buy any of those tools, support him, buy them, and you'll never look back. You'll never regret it. All right, guys, I hope that this series of five websites is going to help you on your journey towards building guitars. Obviously, there are hundreds and hundreds of really great websites. Do still spend time on places like stumac.com and lmi.com and the Acoustic Guitar Forum and places like that. But these five sites are a little bit more specific art now are going to help you hone your craft uh, and get you a little bit more focused on the things that you need to be focused on if you want to build high quality guitars. Um, we will be doing more of these, I think, if you guys enjoy it. And make sure that you comment below uh, if you know of any really good websites that I don't know about or that I haven't mentioned here uh, because we want to grow this community and get all of us on our journey towards guitar building. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and we'll see y'all in the next one.